Axle pads are a portable weighing instrument used for measuring the gross mass of wheel pairings of a vehicle's axle. These axle pads have a unique measurement system which produces excellent performance. For convenience we have incorporated display diagrams to assist the user in a simplified manner to master the functions of the product. The WP10 series portable axle scale consists of a portable case that houses the indicator and printer and includes two wireless interface double tires, single axle weighing pads. Site Location The weigh pads must be installed on a clean, level and hard surface. Remove small stones and debris from under the weigh pads. Do not use the scale in places where the floor surface can vibrate, steel factory floor or bridge. Ensure the pads are sitting firmly on the ground surface and that there is no rocking across the corners due to unleveled ground. Do not use the axle system in places where electronic interference can occur. The approach on either side of the pads must be level and have a minimum distance that is greater than the level between the axle groups of the vehicle that is being weighed. Failure to adhere to these simple instructions will increase the chance of mass reading errors. Do not allow a vehicle to accelerate while on the way pads. Do not stand behind the way pads while a vehicle is on the pads. The way pads are equipped with aerials on one side of the pads, same side as the charging plug. The aerials on both pads should face the control box. Precautions A wireless interface connects the sensor of each weighing pad to the mass indicator within the instrument box. Power to the indicator is provided by internal rechargeable batteries. In operation mode, the indicator display shows the condition of each battery via three icons on the lower portion of the display. The keypad is a soft touch membrane type. Do not use sharp instruments or press the keys as it will puncture the membrane and render the keypad unusable. Do not clean the instrument with harmful chemicals and flammable liquids. Keep the instrument dry and where possible out of direct sunlight. Avoid sudden temperature change. The Way Pad before powering up the indicator, ensure that the weigh pad aerials are facing the instrument and that they are switched on. The battery charging plug, the interface aerial, housed within the frosted plastic cover and an LED lamp can be found on one side of the weigh pad. The instrument is supplied with a magnetic button that must be used to activate the magnetic power switch in each pad. Place the button in the dimple on the surface of each pad. There is a transmission LED light on the aerial side of the pad, which will blink on and off once powered up. To switch the pad off, place the magnetic button in the dimple and wait for the LED light to stop blinking before removing the button. Before switching on the indicator, ensure that there is no load on the way pads. The display will show the mass of each pad and these should indicate a zero mass. The zero button on the pad can be used to adjust the mass to display a zero mass. Basic operation of the equipment. Ensure that the batteries on the way pads as well as the instrument case have had a full battery charging cycle prior to use. Check the way display for the battery's condition. Set up the way pads and instrument. Switch the units on. Check that there is a weight display from both pads. Press the truck key and enter the vehicle's registration number. Press the SN key to enter a unique two-digit ID code if required. Ensure that there is a weight display for both pads. If they are not at zero, use the zero key to correct the out of zero. Drive the front axle of the vehicle onto the left and right way pad. Ensure that the wheels are placed centrally on the pad. The mass of the individual wheels and the combined mass of the axle will be displayed. Press the store key to save the mass and print the axle weight. Continue with the remainder axles in the same manner, pressing the store key. On completion of weighing all the axles, press the print key to save the transaction. Wait till